And just like that, it was just the two of us. <laughs> it's always so like crazy to have family and friends come and visit and stuff, but now it's gonna be quite nice to have the boat for just the two of us for almost a month, huh? Yeah, it's time to let the honeymoon begin. Yeah. And it's such a different energy. <laughs> I know, the boat, the boat feels like You really can already big. feel just calmness and quietness. Yeah. So now we just get to chill, make a sandwich. Let's make a sandwich and start chilling. <laughs> Alright, we've decided to head on up to Green Island because we heard it's a good anchorage and there's some kiteboarding up there. How different is it to go from, let's say, six people to two people? It's a massive difference. I mean, the boat is so big and we just have all of this space and it's very different, but it's good. Both is good, right? I mean, it's amazing to have people around, but it's also like cool to be just the two of us. <laughs> When's the last time it was just the two of us on Delos? I think it was four years ago in the Philippines. It's a long time ago. So, it's about time. <laughs> some, some kill time. Yeah. Ship coming out. over here and looks like a really good anchorage so I think we'll just try and tuck in behind this little island and settle up for a bit. And so we've decided just to make this our little base camp for the next few weeks and uh, just take it slow, enjoy life. Hey, today's fun honeymoon activity is snorkeling. What a honeymoon, huh? <laughs> Pizza and a movie. Boat all to ourselves. Saturday morning, breakfast. Nom nom nom. <laughs> and a little bit of light reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just read this. It's really funny, actually. Because it's this app, and I just read the first thing that popped up today. The 16 week pregnant, <laughs> pregnant mark, or four months, some four months pregnant, um, is often a wonderful time in the life of a pregnant woman. <laughs> <laughs> Not only have all the icky side effects present in the first trimester disappeared, leaving you feeling full of energy, <laughs> but it's also about the time that you will start to develop the baby bump. Here we go, maternity shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I don't know. Let's it's see just, that baby bump. It's hilarious. <laughs> because first thing, I don't know if I feel that great. <laughs> I'm so tired, like I'm sleeping an incredible amount. Um, I also have quite a lot of acne. My skin is all weird. And yeah, it's just funny. It's different for everyone, I guess. But it's definitely... Whoa! Yeah. Look at I that. mean, if I suck it in, it's not that bad. You're but not most supposed of the to time, suck it in. 
Most of the time it's just out there. Alright, there's a baby bump. Right, right, right. Whoa. Alright. Now we go paddling. Are you ready? Yeah. What do you think the Bradesir and Ali Shand are up to? Ooh. I don't know. It's probably snowing. It's probably cold where they're at. <laughs> yeah. This is our first morning in Tahoe and we get to wake up to a powder day. That is a good sign for an epic day of snowboarding. <laughs> what do you think, senor? Ooh. Not in the Caribbean anymore, Blue. <laughs> it's cold, but it's not too bad. First question, how do we get this? The the karma of the world gives back to us all the time. This guy, uh, Mark, he watches the Dallas episodes and we met him here last time we were in Tahoe in the summer and he has an extra truck and he owns a marijuana dispensary. So he hooks us up every time we come and he let, he's letting us use his truck as he's going to Mexico. So it's like my, my dream to have a 4x4 Tundra in the snow on big tires. <laughs> so I'm stoked. Now I just gotta figure out how to do this. Oh! Yeah, you got it. It's not like getting into Maggie. I'm pretty, uh, pretty content right now. I feel stoked. I think this is the most ready I've ever been in any type of snow. I mean, we have like sailing weather foulies on, which are completely waterproof. Um, I bought some new boots and they're gonna fit perfectly. Yeah, it's just normally you always, I always get rental gear and you're only around for like five or six days. So to be in one place for a month feels really good. Like it feels like I can just like unpack and like decompress a little bit instead of just five or 10 days at a time. Yo, it is dumping today. It snowed probably about a foot at Truckee, which means here at North Star on the summit, probably got a foot and a half or maybe two feet. And it's supposed to snow another several feet in the next few days. So it's a pretty, pretty fun storm experience. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go shred it up. It's gonna be a damn good day. I'm really excited. <laughs> It is excellent conditions out here right now. Seriously, could not be better. You injured that entire tree. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it's a lot of snow. Just since we left this morning, it snowed a lot. Look at that. It's like five hours. Yeah. 
I wonder what uh, Karen and Brian are doing right now. <laughs> oh, the boat work never ends. I was down cleaning the boat just before we went into the marina at uh, the dockyard. I was cleaning the propeller and moving the blades and I found this. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look at this one, you can see that slight movement, that slight play. When we hauled out last, we had to heat up the prop to, uh, un to, to get out the set screw because it was uh, seized in there. And I think the bearing closest to that got damaged. And so the bearing is starting to fail. And that is no good. I have the kit, what my plan is to rebuild it and uh, re-grease it and then dive the boat and put it back on again. Number one, remove grease channel screws. Okay, step number two, fit the peg spanner into the retaining cap. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay, some grease, I have to clean this out. There's the next one to get off. Okay, next up, this is definitely a specialty tool to release it by going normal, so counterclockwise. Okay, now the blade is supposed to apparently pop right off, so let's see how this goes. It's definitely loose. Now, that came off easy. Oh, look at those bearings. There's barely any left. I wonder if that's how it's supposed to be. I can't imagine that. Okay, this is how it's supposed to look. So all the bearings are in there. They're still in the race. So that other one was just really, 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 really bad. Good thing I found it before the blade flew off. But that's how you get it apart anyway, so I just gotta do that times three, and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to pop those new bearings in, get it back together, and we will be in business. Just like that. Okay, this side has the seat, so I'm assuming that's the part that goes down. And we're to put Loctite on this, tighten it up until there's no rocking at all in the blade, and then we use our torque wrench, tighten it to 20 Newton meters. Our torque wrench is in foot pounds, so we'll have to figure out the conversion. All right, now we repeat that times two for the other blades. And we should be in good shape. Feels nice and smooth, no movement. All right. Well, my plan today is to finish putting the prop on. But really, the last thing I need to do is grease it up. So I've got the grease zert gun, got the fittings out, and then it's just a matter of uh, squeezing the grease in here until it comes out of there. And then we'll be ready to dive the boat and um, see if we can get the old, older backup prop off and the new prop back on. ourselves to a little bit of steak tonight. <laughs> we think carnival room and blue is I know, we know, when the vegetarians are gone, we're like, meat, 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 take it, I've been meat, craving steak. meat yeah. so bad though. Well, I got this, I found this incredible deal today. <laughs> Look at that a full piece. tenderloin, because, you know why? Because the, the cut up steaks, uh, it was 50 EC per steak. And look at that. It's 94 EC for this entire tenderloin. So I figure that's a much better bargain. And now we can have like a lot of steaks. Nice. Wonder what Alex and Brady are up to. Uh, probably snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Got to that. Rather be anywhere else in the world but right here right now perfect i think i figured out a little bit about tahoe that it attracts some really cool unique people and people from like all different walks of life but all are into the same thing and it's all about outdoors and adventure and a lot of people actually sail around here a lot of people have the same dream to go sail around the world but spend half the time in the mountains 
which is my dream too. So perfect. I love it. Last time I was in Tahoe in the winter was when I found Delos, and that was almost two years ago now. Standing in a lift line or riding, riding down the mountain, all geared up and in your little zone, it feels like it feels like home. And uh, I think that's a very rare and fleeting feeling for me personally to find. Alright, so today we are going to attempt going cross-country skiing, which neither Brady or I have ever done before. So we'll see how that goes. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> I haven't skied since I was probably seven or something, and I don't think Brady's ever skied. <laughs> but when we were up here last time, we met a really cool couple, Denton and Chrissy, and their little girl, Danica. And uh, they took us sailing on their boat, and now they're gonna take us cross-country skiing. So let's uh, go get the, the burn going. We're gonna be sore tomorrow. <laughs> Not very natural at carrying these. They're already making fun of me in there. <laughs> Can you explain where we are right now? We are at Tahoe Donner Cross Country Center in Truckee. <laughs> nice. I think it's one of the largest cross country ski resorts, at least in California. Is it? Look at that. Well, it's like the Nordic track from when I was uh -huh. a kid. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward feeling, <laughs> but I can feel the skins kick in, which yeah. is cool. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's a lot of kids out here showing us up, and a lot of seniors out here showing us up, which is always cool to see. I don't even know what to compare it to. I guess ice skating would be closest. I don't really know. It's a weird feeling. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It was like falling in slow motion, man. No, no, no. <laughs> like a ninja on these skis. <laughs> we've, uh, we've made it to a black diamond. <laughs> we went green, blue, now we're going black diamond. Yeah, we went straight from green to blue to black. I'm bombing it. Bomb it. Oh, I can't slow down once I start going. Ah! Oh no! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. <laughs> All right, now we're good. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh. I was doing so good for a while. Now that's fun. <laughs> That worked so well. All right, what if I go straight and I just bomb into that snow on the other side? Yeah, I'm probably gonna go for it. It's pretty wild to think of all the things humans have done to survive and get around in environments like this. Transporting yourself from point A to point B on a pair of skis carries lots of tradition. But when the next storm rolled through, it was time to take advantage of newer, faster, louder technology and learn how to ride the beast, known as a snowmobile. <laughs> and while Brady was honing his snowmobiling skills, I decided to break out the kiteboard to try and pick up where our lessons had left off. My goal for the week, make it back to the beach without a rescue from Kaza. Oh man, what an excellent anchorage. I slept really well last night. I feel pretty good this morning. The wind is up, so I think the plan today, we'll do the morning ritual, maybe make a bit of coffee, do some editing, and then we'll head to the beach and see if we can improve the old kiteboarding skills.
So while Brian is out swimming around, he's actually doing really well. Um, he's so good now that I don't really have to chase him around in the dinghy anymore. I can just watch him from the beach <laughs> and run to the rescue if needed. So I'm just gonna do a little workout here on the beach and relax and keep an eye on him. But it's a nice sunny day and I'm so proud of him. It's really hard to learn and he's doing really, really well. Man, I'm exhausted, but I did it. I got back to the beach. That's my goal for the week. And I was out there and I crashed. One time I crashed so hard that I looked back and my shorts were just ripped from my body. And like the kite was pulling me down when my shorts were wrapped around my ankle. The board was up there. I was like, oh man. Uh, but we're making improvements. Yeah, good job. Oh, I'm exhausted. You've made it back to the beach. I know. High five. High five. A wise man named John Weir who once explored the Sierra mountain range extensively, wrote the following words. Nature is ever at work, building and pulling down, creating and destroying, keeping everything whirling and flowing, allowing no rest but in rhythmical motion, chasing everything in endless song out of one beautiful form into another. Our time in Tahoe was coming to an end. In the one month we were there, we got lucky with 24 feet of snow falling at our feet. One thing this trip reminded me of is that no matter how much I love living on the ocean, balancing things out with time in the snowy mountains is the ideal mixture for me. There's just as much magic in the snow. Having a big comfy bed, a steady home, your own car, and yes, there's even joy in having an office to be productive in. I'd never really lived in the snow as an adult, so it was a pretty steep learning curve figuring out how to properly layer. How to use an axe to chop wood. Trying to learn how to use an axe. It's not like that. Yeah! Woo! And dig both your car and your house out of the snow. But anything new and challenging is good for the mind, the body, and the spirit. Oh yeah, being close enough for friends to visit is a pretty sweet feeling too. Nice to meet you! Okay, first of all, look at how crazy the snow is right now. And all my friends are here! Wait, you went to jump! What? Three, two, one, jump! 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 But while Brady and I were keeping busy in the mountains, Karen and Brian were back on Delos, turning the page to the next chapter in their stories. Now often like you can see and hear the heartbeat and stuff, it really it really made it real. Holy Aww. shit. That's awesome. So you guys rented a car and went to a local doctor there? Yeah. Yeah, just uh OBGYN. Whoa. That's did, awesome. did you guys get a picture of it? Of it of yeah, that? I got a video with the GoPro. <laughs> Cool. Sweet. Describe. Describe. Like a real Describe. Yeah. Wow. How are you feeling? <laughs> Crazy. It's like real in a completely different way when you see it like that. Yeah. Crazy to reality. Yeah. Little stuff. Thank you.
How are we doing? Sailing. Going back to pick up Alex and Brady. So we're sailing back to civilization, leaving our precious little spot. <laughs> How does that feel? It feels really sad. I feel like we could have had another month there. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been really nice. We've been able to relax, do a lot of boat work, meet a lot of really cool people. But now it's time to sail back. <sighs> How fast can 30 days go? Crazy. No. It's so crazy. And now we're having a fantastic sail. Yeah, it's actually really good. Good speed. You got about, what, 20 knots of wind? Yeah, something like that. On the beam, it's going to be behind us pretty soon, and we're cruising. Big waves, but it's good. We're downwind, so yeah. Here we go. We're rolling now. We've got a grub spot. We see them. Hi, oh, look at us. <laughs> Our <laughs> GoPro. Our double GoPro. <laughs> good to see you. What's up, brother? Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, how are you? Miss you, bro. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, dude, get out of those layers. What happened to your clothes, Brady? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Two minutes on the boat, back to my original style. Did you trim up, Brady? Trim up what? That bod, look at that. I don't think so. I'm still 200. Really? You're looking trim. Right? No you way! Did. You have a lot of no, but look in your navel, though. I think it turned, I think it turned from uh, fat to muscle. Yeah. <laughs> But while we were spent a month away, we worked on a lot of new merch. Look at that merch! So this is now available in the shop to buy. That's a sweet they're, towel. They're awesome. Feel how soft it is. Ooh, that's a soft towel. And... Ooh, that's like really nice. I'll show you something else I'm really excited about. Yeah? No way! <laughs> it's a Delos flag! So now anybody around the world can wrap Delos on their lake, on their boat, at their house, anywhere they want. That's really sweet. Show that to Brian. Brian, look at this. Cool. Holy shit, that's cool. I want one. Well, Where? here we go. <laughs> <laughs> then nice I get the towel. Quality, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. You just ran me over. Are you okay? Look at it. Ah. <laughs> Look at it. Why is it sticking out like that? There's, there's, some, there's a baby in there. Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot.